Hello. Welcome back to another video, everyone. So, I've made an interesting discovery regarding this big piece of furniture which is intended for the kitchen island. Come closer. So, there's some labels on the doors, which are quite old, and tiroir, which means draw, pails and corporu, anyway, I don't know, purifications, I don't know, I can't speak French or pronounce French very well, but bear with me. Apps de tulle, rocher, orbs de enfant de cour. So, these are religious things, religious. And if we go to the other side, I'll show you what's on the label there. And this one is Tirol 1, Napster Actuel. Actuel is an altar, Banque de Communion, Tirol 2, Dantel de Actuel. So these are all um, fabrics and things for the altar. Torchon de Blanc, Pals de, I can't rent. Ancien Oub, Orbs, I can't pronounce any of it. But, um, I did think it was originally probably a piece of furniture for maybe a chateau at first. So things to like press or fold linen on top of and then store within. But on my phone here, I found some photographs of other versions of what this essentially is. So this photograph here is a cathedral and this is a sacristy within the cathedral. You can see this huge piece of furniture, which is a very similar shape to ours, obviously a bit more ornate, and it would have been for the same thing, for storing things for a church or a cathedral. And then I've got another one here as well, which probably is more similar to ours. This again is a sacristy in a church or a cathedral. And again, it's got the same sort of doors, it's the same sort of size, the storing, religious fabrics, decoration for the altar. Yeah, so it's incredibly interesting. And yeah, what a discovery. So it's quite ironic that it's come from either a church or a cathedral, and now it's ended up in a convent's kitchen, or it's going to end up in a convent's kitchen. So it's pretty amazing how these things happen because I just thought it was out of a chateau. But anyway, yeah, let's crack on and do some work. So I'm in the apartment again today and I'm going to start and try and finish the stud work for this wall in this larger room. And um, yeah, I've got the bottom plate in and the top plate is all fixed as well. So now I've got to do an upright in this corner around that sort of open access to the kitchen and bathroom. And then I can fill in the stud work on this side. And then next week we can start studying it and well, getting the insulation in, plasterboard and things like that. So it's ready for Simon to plaster and I can move on to another room. 
So we'll try and get it done as quick as possible. Yeah, should come together quite nicely. And then it appears that I'm now gonna be renovating Ryan's abandoned apartment that he's completely demolished for me, which is actually quite a good thing. So he spent seven days ripping out all of the bad work and now we can replace it with new stuff. So it's quite a good thing that he's done that and upstairs will be better for him as well because it's just decorating, literally decorating. And that's probably more his style, I think, because he doesn't know how to do sud work and things like that. But he will learn. I will show him what I'm doing so he has an idea of what he can do in the future. You know, always best to share skills. So I am gonna crack on with this and I'll catch you all later. So the stud work is sort of in. I've run out of straight timber to finish this wall today because when you buy a batch of say 150 pieces of this timber, it's basically a big massive lot of it and you can't actually see if some of them are straight or not. And probably about 20% of them are like bananas. So that's all I've got left. We've used most of this in the kitchen for the stud work and I need to go and buy some more next week. Um, so yeah, and then I can continue with the stud work, get this all done. I am going to install air conditioning above here where there is a false ceiling. Um, that'll make it really nice and modern and cheap to heat and cool. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. I'll have to order the air conditioning unit for that, get someone to install it. Um, we've got a plug and a switch here for the lights, which is pretty good. Not too high. There should be enough room to get them inside there. Uh, the back of the switch thingy, but yeah, it's good. Um, I think we should go and see what Simon and Yanis are up to. And then I've got an idea for something a little bit later. So let's go and see what they're up to. It's looking amazing, Simon. Thank you. Yep. Hasn't taken you long, has it? No, I mean, we're on the home run really now with the ceiling. Now we're on the plaster inside mm. of it. And it's, it's going surprisingly uh, really quite well. Um, I mean, it takes a bit of time to mask it all up, do it properly, but yeah. uh, it's, it, you know, it's doing really well. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I say by the end of next week, we'll have most of this plastered probably. Yeah. And then we can move on. Absolutely, yeah. Onto yeah. the other projects and things like that. So obviously we need to point that fireplace. Yeah. But we can start the hallway. 
Yeah, sure. While we're still waiting for these windows. Yeah. The issue with the windows is they're made, they're ready, but the um, person that the window carpenter employs to install them, he also installs them with this other person who's sick. And, you know, we've got to wait a little bit more. Yeah, let's hope he's not too sick, eh? And he gets better soon. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In the kindest possible way. Yeah, so... I mean, we can always do, we've got the two end walls that we can do. We do that not, wall and that wall. Yeah, yeah, they're not really attached to any of the windows. Mm. I know there's a doorway there, but we can board the doorway yep. through the same as that one there. Um, and then we can, you know, we can get them two end walls yeah. done. If fantastic. the ceiling's done, that's, that's really the yeah. backbone broken then. It is, yeah. You know, that was the hard uh, part of this room. Yeah. So once we've got that done, so we can get the two walls done, mm. like you say. Such a big room though, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's it's massive. Just think, yeah. I thought this would take about six months, this project, but it's probably going to take about a year now. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, we can still do the other rooms. So we'll be doing more than the kitchen in a year, but hoping it will be done before winter. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, once, once we start, because you've done like sort of really the, the, the rip out, if you like, mm -hmm. um, it's all going back now. Yeah. So, you know, it is, yeah. you see progress, don't you? When you're tearing things out all the time, tearing the floor up, mm taking the floor, I should say. Then, uh, you know, you sort of go backwards before you go forward. Yeah, you do, yeah. But now sort of we're on putting it back together. We it sort of comes we together. We were looking at photos of this kitchen earlier before we started. Yeah. yeah amazing transformation, even just at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. It's come a long way, hasn't it? Yeah, so I'll let you crack on, mate. Okay then, mate. And uh, yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. Appreciate it. Thank you. Just water in the plants. So apparently in Europe, there's going to be a heat wave this weekend. And uh, it was quite cold this morning, but now it's like 30 degrees Celsius. And I don't want the plants to dry out. They need watering. So we're going to do this and then we're going to go upstairs and make a discovery. So let's crack on. Cameraman Alex has decided that we need to make a discovery today. So we're going to make a discovery and we're on the first floor of all the bedrooms and cells and we're going to go find a room and I've got a pad saw with me. We're going to cut a hole in the ceiling and see what the original ceiling above looks like. So I've got a step ladder and let's go and choose a room. Nope. 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 Uh, that one looks quite nice. No. Uh, yeah, this one will do. Number 13. So as you can see, the Ceiling is pretty low, and I imagine the ceilings on this floor are over three meters high. So let's have a look. The reason I chose number 13 as well, because there's already a hole in the wall. <laughs> so it doesn't look too bad if there's a hole in the ceiling as well, as well as a hole in the wall. So. Right. We're actually above the kitchen. So while Simon's actually probably below us, so there's one, two, three windows. Is that three windows? Just watch me fall out the window. One, two, three, yeah. So this is the first window where Simon was plastering below us. So if we jump up and down, all the joints will probably crack. No, they won't. Mask first. It is beautiful, isn't it? Very, very vintage. Yeah. All right. That is not stable whatsoever, is it? 
I think the ceiling's suspended with cables. Anyway. Let's just do a hole. We hit a stud, there we go. Quite a big head, you see. Oh my goodness me. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Let's go a bit closer. Wow. So the first thing I've noticed is the condition of the ceiling and it's immaculate. So it's been whitewashed at some point. I think what we need to do is go and grab the torch quickly so we can see a bit better. But yeah, I'll go and grab the torch and have another look. Right, so I've got a tape measure and we're going to measure the height of the ceiling if it stays there. I said three meters, didn't I? What's it going to be? Oh no, please be three meters. Please be three meters. I can't be wrong. Three meters 20. Yeah, I was right, yeah. So they're quite high ceilings. That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, do you want to have a look up here, Alex? Yeah, yeah, I'll pop up. Because mainly we're going to have ceilings in the bedrooms like the kitchen, but better, much better. So, what you can see, everyone, is beams, beautiful beams, and then at the end, you can see the main beams, which are the same size as the ones in the kitchen, and there's also one behind the camera as well, which is massive. Yeah, you can see one of the main, main beams there. And because it's been lime washed, it's kept woodworm and pests out of the wood and they're in immaculate condition. In fact, they're the best I've seen so far in the entire building. So it's pretty amazing. And also you can see because they lowered the ceiling, they've also blocked off the extra height of the window, which will be revealed when we remove the ceiling. So what I've noticed with this building, every time we discover something, it's always, or in most cases, always in amazing condition. For a 250 year old building, it's been maintained and looked after so well. And all the lime wash has protected most of the wood over the years. And yeah, every time we make a discovery, apart from the odd thing, everything is just in great condition. So yeah, I hope this continues and we don't discover something sinister later on. So that's it for this week, everyone. We were intending to go for a drink across the road at the bar, but it's Bastille Day in France, which means it's a bank holiday. Nothing's open, so we have to go home and have a drink. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.